So for this next encounter, this one really, really will mess up a lot of fire teams. Now, I will say if you're trying to get as many choices, chances to get a thousand voices, you can run Riven on three characters and get the keys that you need to open the chest and then run this particular encounter just once. For this encounter, you're going to have one person who is chosen at the very beginning, it'll say they are chosen, to pick up the orb, okay? That person is going to run out of Riven with that orb. While they're doing that, the other people in the fire team are going to want to stay as close as possible because you're dying the entire time, and there's a protective orb around the person who has the orb that will protect them from dying, okay? If you don't, eventually you'll get an effect that will eventually kill you. Once you get to about 10, start counting down. The reason for this is once you get to zero, you're going to be warped inside of Riven's heart. If other people are next to you when that warp happens and they're inside the orb, they will go with you and that's going to be bad things for the fire team. So make sure you get you do that. And when you get to about three or two, probably three to be safe because again, there's timing between people say things and when things come back on your mic and your headset. I would say at about three, everyone back off. For the person who's initially running the orb, I would say don't do it at the very tip of her tongue. Try to do it at the end of her throat, not the tip of her tongue. And the reason is, is because that orb could fall down and the next person, after you get warped into her heart, the next person is going to be declared. And it'll take a second or two for them to see it on their screen to pick up the orb. If it's down the bottom, it's with the ads, it's going to be kind of hard for people to do that. So then again, as the next person picks up the orb, everyone with them is going to probably start using supers and other things to take out as many ads as possible. One thing to keep in this account, there is no DPS. So feel free to go ham and clear out the ads as quickly as possible. You want to stay as close to the orb runner again. The orb runner is going to be counting down. Now, once they get down to zero, there's something that's going to need to happen within the heart room. For the person who went in the heart room, your real goal is to kill ads and to pick up a taken strength that resets the timer on the orb on the other room. The real thing you're going to want to do is pick that up towards the end, probably about when they say three, so it resets it. So the sequence is someone picks up the orb, they count down to zero, you pick up a taken strength, it resets it. When it happens a second time, that person, you can't extend it again, is going to be sucked in the room, you'll have two people in the room. Now, the key to that is, to make this really simple, is that all the taken strengths have to be picked up to reset the timer. What I typically do is the first person who got sucked into the room, that person always picks up the last orb. That way, they're paying attention, and it's always the same person that knows, I need to pick this up with three seconds left when the person counts down that's in the other room. So, let's say you have, eventually you'll have up to four or five people in this room. Everyone else, as soon as a new sequence starts, they're going to pick up their taken strength. And the person who's last is going to stay, stay near a taken strength and say, hey, this is mine. You know, don't touch this one. Now, if you do get messed up and someone misses their taken strength, you can't pick up a second one, right? Because that's that's the entire point, just like you did in Morgeth. So if you do get stuck, you can't pick up a second one. But again, try to extend that as long as possible. The reason is you're trying to give the people on the other side as long a time as possible because they have a long path and I'll show it here in this infographic, that they have to traverse to get to and finish this encounter. So at this point, you just rinse and repeat. So you fall down the path, and then you continue to go through the different rooms of the actual raid. At the end of each time, you're gonna to wanna to make sure, who, if you know you're going through, that you're gonna stop and make sure the orb is in an area where it's not gonna fall in a hole, it's not gonna roll around, it's somewhere where everyone can get to really quickly before the next person picks it up. The goal of this is to buy the sixth person, is that the sixth person, and if you, you can actually get it quicker, the sixth person will get all the way through and dunk the orb, and that finishes the encounter. A couple things that can hang you up here is if people either get sucked in extra, because if you have an extra person get sucked in, that's basically then less people who can complete the traversing. And once you get towards the end, you're gonna go through the rooms in the vault, that have the other enemies, the bigger enemies in the hallways. And it's good to have at least two people there for one person to be able to kill them because it's difficult for the person with the eye to be able to do that. So again, you're gonna make sure you don't get sucked into the room. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you pick up the last, the last taken strength towards the end of the counter so you can extend things. And then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you don't drop the orb in some area where people can't pick it up. If you do that, then you get to the, this encounter. Again, this is not that difficult, but it requires practice. And this is where a lot of teams get hung up. 
Once you get that, you get to the room that has a chest. If you have more than one key, you can actually open it, open up more than one chest to get your thousand voices. And that's the encounter. Again, the this is one of my favorite raids. If you get a good fire team, it's definitely doable, but it is a difficult raid and requires a lot of coordination and a lot of understanding of how raid mechanics work. So again, guys, if you like these videos, feel free to check out my other raid guide videos. I have an entire list where you can get those if you're struggling with other raids, but that's a video. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you, Guardians in the Tower.